okay, never mind. I uh, came right back. I just realized that most of this stuff I ain't taking to the shop. So I've already taken to my pickup what I'm going to take to the shop. I've got to pull the pin out of the back of my uh, hitch to put in my pickup. And then uh, I've got to... Uh, back my trailer back up where it's supposed to be and then I can hook the uh, oh can't think of the name I can hook the I can hook my trailer up to it and turn my trailer around and, and, and leave it where it's supposed to be but uh, reaching in my old Honda Looking for something I left in here. Hopefully it's still in here. Maybe, maybe not. Let me see what I got here. I bought me a selfie stick at Walmart. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I pulled the uh, I believe that's what I pulled the phone holder out of to uh, make the uh, phone work. But anyway, yeah, I guess that's exactly what I did. So I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of stuff and put some things together. It's a set, uh, some bitch reach, it, it extends way out there, so it ought to do some pretty good things. I just gotta find some little parts to put my, uh, phone attachment back on there, which I think I just did, so we'll see. Um, I don't know, maybe this will work. Yep, I think so. Give me just a second. I know you're looking at the roof of my car, which I really don't, ain't very polite of me. I just wanna get this piece back together. thing came with this little switch right here I'm not sure what it is I'm sure it'll tell me how to put it together or what to use it for looks like it has a battery or something with it if I don't tear it up trying to take it apart I don't know what it's doing to my phone but anyway I'll carry it with me uh, I don't see any destructions in here no more parts oh there's the destructions yeah it says bluetooth selfie stick so it's just a selfie stick i don't think it'll push play or anything like that it might Uh, works with Android and hmm okay well let me go get the other piece to hook to it which is in my my oh I'm six foot two and getting out of that little Honda is kind of a pain in the ass it's damn near sitting on the ground it's like sitting on your butt and standing straight up <laughs> But let me get this uh, other piece out of here. Then maybe I can walk around without my camera bouncing around so much. Let's see what we got here. Uh, my loading table, man, everything's a mess. I just, I can't believe how messy I am. 
Okay, this looks like it's all gonna go together. Pretty simply. I hope. If I sound winded, it's cause I'm in, I am, I'm, I'm a fat fucker. Excuse my French, but I, uh, whew, I don't have to impress anybody. I impressed my wife a long time ago. And we've been pretty impressed with each other ever since. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this work without turning off my phone. There we go. Now I can hold you out here and give you a real good look-see at everything. See if I got any more parts out here that I need to find. I'm not gonna stick my thumb in front of the camera. Uh, I think I got everything here. So, uh, I'll take my pickup over to the shop. And uh, when I take my big trailer over there with the other old pickup on it, I'll probably use my Expedition. I've got a, that Ford right there. It's got a little, it's got a V8, but it's a 4.6 Triton and it is gutless. And I've looked up videos and to see what the hell's wrong with it, why it's so gutless. And uh, everyone says it's just gutless. That's all there is to it. So it doesn't, it, you know, it'll pull the car. It pulls the big trailer, but it doesn't do it very well. So, uh, I've got this hitch in my hand here. I'll put it on my little trailer. That one right there. It, uh, is what I pull my car trailer with. And if you see, it's got the big lift on it. You know, it's got the, uh, five inch up lift on it. And then my little welding trailer, it's got a six inch drop. I don't know what this little trailer was built for, but uh, it's, it's low and I needed one that dropped for my pickup to go in this trailer. And then even, even in my pickup, well, crap. Even in my pickup, ah, come on, there you go. Even in my pickup, I have to, uh, I have to, uh, use the, the riser to carry the other trailer because the other trailer is really high. My, uh, I, I believe the tongue's bent on it a little bit. I've straightened it and it's a lot better than it was, but when I get away from it, you know, when I'm up close, it looks good. The pin where the bed tilts and everything, you know, looks good. It looks good from here. You can see it, okay? But the uh, the tongue is bent right where the bed hooks to the goes into the frame right here. It's, it was bent there, and then right along in here on both sides. So. But anyway, this has got this, this heavy duty hitch that's got the uh, hydraulic brake in it and whatever, you know, makes the brakes work. So when you stop, instead of having electric brakes that just slam on and, uh, you know, burn your tires up, it's got 
you know, progressive brake on it. Here's the pen we built last week. And uh, my son did a pretty good job on that. You know, it'll hold our dogs. My wife calls it puppy Alcatraz because ain't no dog going to get out of that. It's got these nice 900 pound barrel hinges on it. You know, we, we welded them up on there and man, it, it just, it's nice, nice. Door swings, doesn't have anything to stop it right now. I'm gonna put a, a piece of flat iron or something right here where it'll hold it. And, or I may put a latch on here where it's got a pin that goes through and it goes down, up and down on both sides that way, you know, kind of like a regular fence, regular fence gate, like this other pin over here. You know, it's got a little cheap one on it. I don't want nothing like that. But I don't need the one for a two and a half inch pipe either. That's two inch tubing that I came across for cheap, which is absolutely nothing. And uh, you can't beat the free price. And I've got... I don't know, probably 300 more feet out of it, of it that I'm gonna build. I'd like to build a barn out of it, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. But uh, I'm sure gonna build my wife a carport to put over there by our carport. We already have a carport on the house, but I really kinda wanna close that in, but I've gotta do some other stuff first. I've got my concrete's cracking where we had a cellar and my dad built the house, he built the cellar, he did everything, but when he built the cellar, he dug the hole in the ground and put brick in there. And uh, it's beautiful. We used to play down there as kids all the time, but I went down there one day and scared the daylights out of me. The walls look like they're caving in. I think that's what's causing my concrete on my the floor of my carport to crack. I think it's the dirt under it's all sliding off into the into the uh, uh, cellar because that wall's caving in. The uh, west wall or the east wall is already caved in. The north wall's doing a pretty good job of caving in, and the east wall starting to cave in. And uh, I started to fill it full of dirt when uh, the the east wall caved in, and then I realized that you know I I can't really do that because I have to push it all the way to the west side and there's no possible way of doing that and I'm gonna have to figure out some way to cave the damn thing in and hopefully my house doesn't fall off in it so I'm gonna be looking into buying a jackhammer pretty quick to get that done and then you know I'll cave the rest of the walls off in there if I had to cave it off in you know break it off in small blocks we'll do it that way but uh, I don't know how windy it is out here, but hopefully you can hear me. My neighbor over there moving his goats. Raise up the jack on this trailer so I don't drag it in the dirt. Then I'll get it turned around. And uh, I'll probably, yeah, it's not gonna hit anything. It's high enough. Yeah, let's just take it off. Don't have to fold it up. Just take the thing off and lay it in the trailer. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Cause I wanna take my pickup to the truck. I'll be needing a welder up there too. I've got to finish my welder trailer. And uh, I 
finish my welder trailer, then I can, uh, oh, then I can, uh, you know, just move my welder, my cutting torches, and everything anywhere I need them, and, and go from there. Ooh, that sounds bad. The phasers. Phasers on my camera. Knocking really bad.